Hi! Today we're going to talk about some of the most famous pieces written for the viola, starting with the very first viola concerto, written in 1715 by George Talamon. Here's a little bit of the first and second movements. So the first movement is slow. <laughs> faster second movement. Now we're going to move on to the classical period. Franz Hofmeister lived from 1734 to 1812 and spent most of his career working in Vienna. If you didn't know this piece, you might think that it was written by Mozart. Um, the Hofmeister Concerto, along with the Concerto in D Major by Karl Stamitz, are the two most important viola concertos of the classical period. Here's a little bit of the first movement. <laughs> To the Romantic period, I chose the first viola sonata by Johannes Brahms. It's in F minor and he wrote this in 1894. The two sonatas, um, the F minor and the E flat, were the last pieces of chamber music that Brahms wrote before he died. They were written originally for the clarinet, um, but as basically as soon as he wrote them down for the clarinet, he immediately transcribed them for viola and the clarinet and viola versions were published at the same time. Um, so violists and clarinets um, play these pieces equally, and this is just a little bit of the first movement from the F minor sonata. Robert Schumann was a contemporary of Brahms, and he also wrote some really beautiful chamber music for viola, including this piece, American Builder, which means fairy tales in German, for viola and piano. Here's a little bit of the last movement. <laughs>
the 20th century, I want to play you the beginning of the Viola Concerto by Paul Hindemith. It's called Der Schwanendreher. It was written in 1936. Der Schwanendreher means the swan turner, if you literally translate it, um, but it means the teller of tales or stories. So here's the beginning. Um, you'll hear the really sharp dissonances that Hindemith uses throughout his music. He wrote um, several sonatas for viola and piano and for solo viola, and then other concerto-like pieces like Der Schwanendreher. The next 20th century concerto I want to share with you is the concerto by William Walton. He's an English composer and he wrote this piece in 1928 and 29. Coincidentally, the soloist for the premiere of the Walton concerto was Paul Hindemith, the person who wrote the piece Der Schwanendreher that we just heard. Here's a little bit of the first movement of the Walton concerto. three major 20th century concertos is the viola concerto by Hungarian composer Béla Bartók. Bartók was alive 1881 through 1945 and this piece was actually published after his death in 1949. It made its premiere here in Minneapolis with um, the then Minneapolis Symphony Orchestra, now the Minnesota Orchestra, with um, famed viola soloist William Primrose playing the concerto part. So here's a little bit of the first movement. <laughs> 